A brief appearance by Meng Wanzhou at the Vancouver Courthouse Friday, watched by reporters from around the world, is just a taste of the intense interest in tomorrow's hearing. Just over a year after she was detained by border officials at the airport and put under virtual house arrest in one of her upscale Vancouver homes, the controversial question, the one a judge will soon decide, should the chief financial officer of China's biggest company be extradited to the United States? The Canadian government says the issue is straightforward. Since Meng is facing a fraud charge in the United States, the Prime Minister says Canada has a legal obligation to assist the United States. We will ensure as a government and as a country uh, that all the rules and the independence of our justice system is properly defended and properly supported. But China sees it very differently, that the charges against Meng are not about the rule of law, but rather politics and business, an attempt to punish a formidable Chinese tech giant founded by her father. The U.S. president seemed to support that point of view when he said he would intervene in her case if it was, quote, good for trade and security. We asked Ian Young, a reporter for Hong Kong's South China Morning Post, about public opinion on the other side of the Pacific. In China in particular, though, I think there's certainly the perception that this is a political prosecution and that uh, Canada is acting at the behest of the United States. And so, perhaps to put pressure on Ottawa, two Canadians, Michael Kovrig and Michael Spavor, were arrested and they sit in jail in China. Beijing's motivation, say the experts, beyond doubt. Any question in your mind that that's retaliation? No question. Eve Tebergen is a UBC professor who studies and frequently visits China. He says relations between the two countries are at an all-time low. How does that make you feel? Uh, it's great sadness and great sense of loss because I see when I go to a lot of global summit, you no know, G20, WTO summit, uh, climate change, Canada is held in high esteem by everyone, by people from developing countries as well as developed countries. And today, Canada's role is completely uh, lost in many ways because we have a completely dysfunctional relation with China. Meng Wanzhou speaks of sadness as well. In a blog post on the one-year anniversary of her arrest, she wrote of moments of fear, pain, disappointment, helplessness, torment, and struggle. But she also said, Every time I appear in court, a crowd waits outside. Your passion and support have always warmed my heart. It appears she also has the support of some Canadian legal experts, like Gary Botting, who has written extensively on extradition. He says the Minister of Justice could stop this process at any time and should. I think the Minister will see that it's just not worth continuing the fight. No, we're not going to extradite. We're going to... Um, she's free to go home. And so I asked the Federal Justice Minister whether he would use his legal authority to stop the extradition, and he says he won't take any action until the court process is absolutely complete.